Hey guys, today I'm here to do a full face of, it's not necessarily first impressions, there's new makeup in here, some of it's first impressions, some of this is drugstore, a lot of it's drugstore, some of it's a little more high end. So we've got the full spectrum of products here today, stuff I've gotten in PR, a lot of this I bought in the last few days. Some of these products I have tried before but I want to show you guys them on camera because I haven't talked about them in a while. But most of this is new stuff I've wanted to try and I'm excited to give a go. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe if you have not yet. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I will be taking off Monday the 25th because it is Christmas and I, I would like a holiday too. Also follow me on all my other social media stuff. Everything is Raw Beauty Christy, so Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Twitter. Oh my God, I tweet so much. I'm running a giveaway currently. If you guys did not watch my last video, it was a vlog style video. If you guys did not see, I am running a giveaway with Pure Cosmetics right now. It was announced in that video, so go check it out. The link and everything is in that last video, which I will link here, but do it after this video because you want to watch this one too. It is for the entire Pure Cosmetics Quick Pro Collection, and I do believe the giveaway ends today at midnight. So you're gonna want to enter that giveaway if you haven't yet. So make sure you do that. And without further ado, let's get into the full face, trying out some new makeup. So I've got stuff from a multitude of different stores. I've got Walgreens here and I've got Sephora. And I also did some from Fred Meyer, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's a local one-stop shop. So I just went and picked up a couple of different products a few minutes ago because I have heard nothing but good things about this recently. And some of you guys asked me to try it because you know the type of shape of sponge I like. This is the Eco Tools Total Perfecting Blender. And this has the most interesting shape to it. I already pretty much, if the softness is good, I think I know I'm gonna love the shape. So this is the size of the sponge right now. It's pretty firm. So I hope this does get pretty squishy because you guys know I hate a firm beauty blender. This grew quite a bit. Um, I'd say it probably doubled in size. However, it does feel a little more dense than I typically like when it comes to a sponge, which sucks because the shape of this is everything I've ever wanted in a sponge. I want that flat edge. I think that this will be able to nicely like bake the face like this to get that crisp line right here. It might be able to really nicely get on the eye area. Like you see how it can really get up in that inner corner. So this one I believe was like $8. I want to try the one from Sephora. It's like the cake and bake sponge or something like that. Either way, I'm going to move on to the foundation. And the one I want to try today is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. And it says new, so I'm excited. The color I got is the shade Cream Ivory. This one says it's a light medium warm. It is a cushion foundation. Right now I have very dry skin because we are in the middle of winter. I'm really liking the Dewey Foundation. Ooh, it's scented quite scented actually. And it comes with this little pad right here. So these little pads are traditionally what you put it on. So I'll do a pad on the one side of my face and then the other sponge on the other and see if there's a difference. Very, very scented. It smells to me like a body wash. It's as fragranced as a soap and it smells like soap. It smells good, but if you're very sensitive, yeah, probably won't like that. It says here, luminous, lightweight, and buildable, and it's a hydrating formula with natural coconut derivative. So far it has a pretty finish. I, I don't love this little sponge. I just find it a little bit irritating, but it does apply the product really nicely. So far the finish of this is actually quite pretty. I can tell you the shade range was trash. There was about, I think, seven or eight shades and it did not go deep at all. So that's pretty unfortunate. It's quite luminous. It's pretty so far. I'm gonna give the Eco Tools sponge a go on the other side. Even though this sponge is very firm, I do feel like I'm getting coverage. It smells so freaking good though, but it smells like laundry detergent. I mean, it's like, whew. That is what the finish looks like. It's real wet looking. It did start to look a little cakey around my mouth. So I just kind of took the butt end of the sponge and gently ran it over and it did reduce that cakiness. 4.30. PM. I'm used to wearing the L'Oreal Pro Glow, which has a very similar finish to this. So far, I'm really liking it. The only thing is that it is only 0.52 ounces and it's in a cushion. So 
you don't really get all of the product. When you get a traditional liquid foundation, it's one fluid ounce. $8.99, shit, wet and wild. And this was $8.99 for half of a fluid ounce, essentially. So pretty expensive compared to a normal foundation. Like if you're comparing this in ounce to a normal foundation, that would put this at like $16 or $17 for a fluid ounce, which is quite a lot. And you're getting this in a cushion, which again, you traditionally get less product. If there's 0.5 ounces in here, you're only gonna get some of that because a lot of it soaks up in the cushion or dries up because of the method. I'm gonna go with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, which you guys know I love, and I'm going to give that a go. I really, really enjoy this edge quite a lot. I would say this has a very similar consistency to the NYX blending sponge. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and this is in the shade Fair Light. And I needed to get one that was a little bit lighter so I went and I got the shade Fair. The other one tends to make my under eyes a little too dark so. Damn, that's light. I do love the shape of the sponge. Oh, it's so easy. I look freaking ghostly right now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do my brows off camera real quick. If you guys want a video on how I do my brows, I will link that here. It's like my full face holy grail routine. But right now I'm gonna do my brows off camera real quick and I will be right back to move on to the rest of the face. Okay, my weird brows are done. This one's kind of pointing straight and this one's pointing down, but you know what? We're just not gonna look at it or talk about it. So while my bake is setting, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Pretty much everything so far has been drugstore, hasn't it? So we're gonna move on and get rid of that real quick. Huda Beauty sent over these, which I was so excited about. I was actually at Sephora the other day. I ran into a group of three or four gals and they were so nice. It was one of their 21st birthdays and these were at the little checkout line at Sephora. So I got I got the girl actually this one. I was like, oh, I'll get her a little birthday present. So I threw that in her bag and I was like, take it. I haven't even dried it though. So I hope it's good. And I didn't just gift her some shitty little palette. This is the Warm Brown Obsessions palette and this one is Smoky Obsessions. So I'll open them and show you guys what they look like. This is the inside of the Warm Brown Obsessions and oh wow, I love the size of this. I don't know if you guys can tell how small they are, but they are just kind of the perfect size little palette, especially given the amount of colors that you get in there. Like that's really nice. I'm gonna look up the price and see what they are. I don't even remember. So they are $27, which is a hefty price tag. I must say for such a small palette, however, you do get nine colors in there. So it's not too bad. And I can attest that Huda Beauty has really nice quality eyeshadows. This is the Smoky Obsessions palette and this is more cool toned and wow, look at that. So there's a lot more shimmery shades in this one. I don't think I'm gonna go in with this one today. I know you guys probably wanna see a cool tone look. However, I feel like I just did one with Patrick's palette. Even though it was warm, I feel like it ended up turning out relatively cool toned. So that's how I justify this. I feel like everyone loves warm toned palettes though, right? Or am I wrong? So I'm gonna start off with this shade down here in my crease. Moving on, I think I want to go in with this shade down here. Go right over what we just did. But a little further down. Kind of blending the two together. Yeah, baby. So I think I wanna go in with this shade here now. All right, I'm gonna clean this up quite a bit with some concealer and a flat brush. And for this, I'm gonna use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Fair 5. So I went to Sephora and I bought my first ever heavy metal liner. I don't know why I've never 
bought one of these before, but I just never felt like I needed it until I saw a million people using it and I was like, okay, well, I guess I do need it. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the color Midnight Cowboy. This is the main one, but when I swatched them all at the store, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that. So I'm gonna do a gold glitter in the crease. I've never used these before, but they have a very thin tip and they paint on really easily. Okay, well that was literally effortless and that's exactly what I'm looking for when it comes to glitter. Because glitter is traditionally a pain in the ass. That was almost too easy. Oh shit. I definitely had some transfer when I looked down too soon. I wanna try this liner, even though I'm pretty sure that this has a shiny finish. This is a brown liner. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL. And I've used these in the past and I like them. I just hate how they have a shiny finish. All right, got the one wing done. Now to move on to the other. The issue I have with shiny eyeliner is that it shows every imperfection and every bit of texture, whereas matte like really hides it. But as you can see with the shiny eyeliner, you see how you can see all the texture, all the lines. You really have to go over it a lot. Okay, and that is the eyes done. There is a lot of transfer. That was my bad. I'll try to go over it with some concealer in a little bit just to get rid of it. But honestly, like I don't care. It still looks really pretty, so. This is a product that I have wanted to try forever. I'm not sure I got the right color, but this is all they had when I was at the store. So I'll pick up a different one if it's not. It smells like coconut. Oh, this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I have heard nothing but great things about it. So I'm gonna give it a go. Packaging is awful. I mean, I must just say, but I've heard that the formula is incredible and it smells so good, like beachy. This color may be too light for me. This is in the shade Light Bronzer. Um, I think the other one is the one everyone's talking about. Perfect for this natural eye look we've got going on. Oh, it's not too light. Not too light at all. I think I went too far down, but that's a good thing because then I can use that sponge with some powder and cut this and see if maybe it works well for that. So far this is blending really nicely. Oh, that crease in my forehead's not looking too happy. I definitely put too much bronzer on this side, so the fact that I'm putting more on right now is a question, I, I don't know. Why am I doing it? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with that Maybelline Fit Me powder and this sponge, and I'm going to cut out I don't traditionally do this. Nikki Tutorials and Jacqueline do this a lot, and they have perfect human faces, so I'm gonna give it a go. We'll see how that ends up looking, huh? I have a few new highlights I wanna try, but I do wanna try this one. I mentioned this in a haul recently. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Shimmerista, and this is in the shade Sunlight. I think this will be a bit dark for me, but we're gonna give it a go. It's a bit deep on me because it does cast a little bit of a shadow. Not bad. Yeah, it's a little dark. You see how it's adding a bit of a shadow instead of a highlight? So what I'm gonna do is show you guys this. Now I talked about this in my last video. And this is probably my all time favorite highlighter. Not just drugstore highlighter, but this is probably my all time favorite highlighter that exists. This is the Physicians Formula Shimmer Brick in the color Natural Nude. It is the most stunning highlighter that exists. It's so beautiful. It adds a wet sheen that other highlighters could only wish they could be. Now I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray because you know, I use this like literally every day. 
I really like the eyes. I feel like the face is too light, but we're gonna move on to the lips real quick. These lips are gonna be pretty intense with these eyes, but again, don't really care. And today I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Stunna Lip Paint in the color Uncensored. This is the beauty here. Oh yeah. Bitch, this packaging is really nice. <gasps> oh. oh my god. That freaking red though. This applicator is so nice. It looks like it's gonna be hard to apply with this applicator when you haven't used it before, but it's really not. God, there's so much pigment. I haven't re-dipped at all. My, like my lip line looks a little clownish. It's not this thing's fault. I just didn't use a lip liner and I really should have. But oh my God, this color is, I mean, you can see the pigmentation that I did one dip. That was just me pulling it out and swiping. Super comfortable too. I also got this, which is the actual reason I went to Sephora. And this is the Rita Hazan Root Concealer. I got this because of Katie or Luster Lux. Well, at Katie now. Uh oh. Is the right color? I got the color light brown. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Whoa. It almost looks like I have a wig on though. I probably shouldn't have sprayed my part. That stuff is freaking cool. Avoid the speckles on the forehead. Those are from Rita Hazan. Final first impression. My skin looks a little bit cakey and I cannot fault the foundation for that. I think it was me and the sheer amount of that Fit Me powder I caked on. Regardless of that, so far my skin looks okay. Like I would totally leave the house like this. I don't love the way my skin looks. It looks a little cakey for me. See, it like doesn't look, <laughs> oh my God, look at the speckles on my forehead. Holy shit. It just doesn't look like fresh skin, which I think it would have if I didn't use so much powder. Cause it did look nice and dewy before that, but We'll see how this wears throughout the night. Oh my God, it looks like I have freckles on my damn forehead. Eyeshadow palette, love. I feel like it blended out really easily. Obviously these are all my first impressions. So take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. You don't need to go out and buy every single product I'm mentioning because I haven't used any of this more than once, but I'm just going off my first, first impression here. I'll let you guys know how this wears too. Glitter, it did transfer, but I found that applying it was like incredibly easy. The Stunna Lip Paint. A good goddamn. We'll see how this wears. Very comfortable right now. I can tell you it's, I do not like liquid lipsticks, but this does not feel like a crusty ass liquid lipstick. It's not transfer proof, but the color is so vibrant and the color is also super pigmented. Again, this was one dip, holy shit. Um, the bronzer seemed to go on really well. I like it for my first impression. The smell is really good. The smell of the foundation is almost too overpowering for me. We'll see what I think throughout the night. The highlighter is best suited, I would say, for medium skin tones. It would probably work on deep as well. Not certain on that. But for my light skin tone, it does shadow a little bit. But when topped with the other Physicians Formula Natural Nude Shimmer Brick, perfect. I love the highlight. I do like the loose highlight, though. I feel like it, it applied really nicely. So... There is a lighter shade than this at the drugstore. I just didn't pick it up and I totally should have. It's very, very light though. It's like almost a celestial cover FX, very similar to that. It's like a pinky iridescence. It's really beautiful though. I just didn't get it because I thought it'd be too light for me, but I don't really actually think it was. The sponge, uh, I'm gonna have to keep using. It's a little dense for me. I wonder if it'll get a little softer as time goes on. I love the shape, so I'm definitely gonna try that cake and bake sponge from Viramona, I believe it is. But the shape of this sponge is just everything I've ever wanted. It really did help me get that crisp line on my face here. It helped me really get into the inner corners. It's just a little too firm for me, but I do really love the shape. So I'm gonna keep using it because I feel like I did get good coverage. I think that's it of everything that I tried. So I'm gonna go wear this over to my dad's house. Right now it is 
about 5.40 and then I will come back and then before I take my makeup off at the end of tonight, I will show you guys how everything wears. So this is what my face looks like. It's about coming up on 10. Um, we had spaghetti, spaghetti squash, okay. It was, you know, oily and stuff, and I've been like kind of wiping at my mouth, so this actually held up really well, I would say, through eating. Given the amount I was wiping my mouth, I, I literally was like going ham. My skin looks um, little foundation-y and cakey. I don't know if you can tell. But again, I also put a shite ton of powder on it, so. Um, it's been on for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six hours. So, not terrible. Not great. But not terrible. All right, you guys, well, I hope you guys like this first impression video. I know it was kind of more laid back and not everything was brand new to me. I like just trying out new products and this one is cool. Now, you definitely want to hold the nozzle down hard on the Rita Hazan because it tends to spritz out gently as you guys can probably tell by the dots on my forehead. And this is the color light brown. I found it kind of difficult to know what color to get when I was at the store. And that can really help if you have thinning hair or if you feel like self-conscious about your hairline, this might be the winning ticket. All right guys, well thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also make sure to follow me on all my other social media stuff. Everything is Raw Beauty Christy. And if you guys are watching this on Friday, make sure to enter the giveaway, don't forget. And I will not be here on Monday because I'm gonna be taking the day off to be with my family and to just relax, have Christmas. So I will see you guys after Christmas on Wednesday. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Crusty ass lips. Some of this product, so, hmm, I want one. I would also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the idea and before and before we I don't know where that was going. This is the Eco Tools perfect total what? I'm going to give the Eco Tools or in my previous tests cushion foundations my memory is literal trash right now and I don't know why. I was trying to remember what I got my dad for Christmas earlier. Couldn't remember. I wrapped it like three days ago. How do I remember? So I have the Smoky Obsessions palette and I've got this one here, which is in the shade. What is it? Ah! Oh shit. I just dropped it. All right, let me go get my freaking liner and I'm gonna freaking fracking freaking damn it. Oh! God damn. So far too, like the comfortability. What? My lip line is so clownish. My teeth are so yellow, oh my God. I need to whiten them so bad.